I'm a professional engineer by background, and uh, for my advanced studies, I specialize in a discipline called seismology. So I've learned um, about earthquakes and also how you can use vibrations through the earth for oil and gas exploration. But the earthquake part is what, you know, draw me into exploring a wider array of different uh, disasters. So I think the interest comes from that. I teach natural disasters, and I think it's a um, topic full of energy. You know, you think about volcanic eruptions and earthquake. So I think, you know, by the nature of the topic, it's not dull. And also, I think it brings something about the earth, about the weather, but it brings something about our connection with it, like the human connection with the severe weather. Say, what do human experience when they're in the middle of a typhoon? Like we are seeing that right now with uh, what's happening in the Philippines. So there is this human interest uh, that um, makes it, I think, um, something you can relate to and uh, a topic that is very approachable. I find, of course, the international news attention span is very short. So they show you the full blast of the disaster, but they rarely cover um, mitigation um, action taking ahead of time to reduce the impact of disasters. Or, you know, when it's a long rebuilding process, well, the press is long gone and, you know, doesn't cover how uh, challenging it is to, for people to rebuild their lives and infrastructure. So I try to bring a little bit of more of that in the course. A few years ago, when people were asking me about my hobbies, I was telling them I have four. And their names are Sophie, Dominique, Irene, and uh, Lily. Um, because then I had the four kids at home and uh, they were keeping me really busy. Um, but now my kids are growing up and uh, I find I have more time to myself. Uh, so my hobbies are um, long distance running and piano. I've done a marathon um, to celebrate my 50th birthday. I did that two years ago and it, uh, I started by not being able to run a block. So I gave myself two years of preparation time and almost on the day of my uh, birthday for being um, the big 5-0, I ran my Ottawa Marathon and that was a pretty rewarding experience. And since then, um, I have done uh, one a year. So I have run uh, three times the marathon now. Yeah. yeah. Congratulations. Thank you. I'm very proud of myself, yes.